Hey everyone, my name is Dylan, I'm from South Africa and I cover all things related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Today's video I'd like to touch on and continue from the previous video I made about building a cryptocurrency portfolio. I'd like to look at my personal one and also see uh, and that you can see how I apply the rules that I set in that video. If you haven't seen that video of how to build a cryptocurrency portfolio, please see the link up above. So let's get into it. Now the video I spoke about is this one over here. So you can go onto my YouTube channel and see that. Also see the other videos I do. Um, and if you'd like to see more of me, remember that you can follow me on Instagram, um, on subreddit or on Reddit. I also post things on Twitter. I post things and then my Kryptonatic group on Facebook. Um, and I do, I'm more active on these other platforms and only do videos um, only a few a week. So if you want to get more updates, um, just earlier today I posted this thing about the Chinese New Year and what my thoughts are on that. Um, so please feel free to, to go and join that. Um, and also see that if you miss something, it might be on one of the other platforms. I do try and make sure I always post on all of them, but just so you know. Um, so for the portfolio that I'm doing, what I did was I put the, the coin or the project, then I put the position that it's on. So when I say Bitcoin position number one, I mean go into coin market cap and see the position here and that also gives you an idea idea of where it is in the cryptocurrency market um, and also referencing to my video where I say choose from your top 10 or top 20 for your high cap coins and your mid middle cap and your low cap and what that means so if you don't know what I'm speaking about go check that video um, so when I speak about the position that's what I mean okay so let's get into it okay so uh, each of these I listed here one for one and I'll go through them and then I also mark them as a high cap coin so one of your top more solid projects your middle middle cap um, those that have a bit more room to grow but a little bit more riskier and then the lower cap high risk high reward so they are listed there now my first one is the ICOs. So in total I have at the moment at about 7% about of my portfolio is in ICOs. Um, if a new one comes up I will then invest into that and I'm also planning on doing um, a few more videos on ICOs. It's the new hype and there's a lot more rules and regulations coming into that. But that's also as marked in pink high risk high reward. Next one is IOTA. Now, I really love this project. Um, it's sitting at number 10 on coin market cap, but it's only 2% of my portfolio at the moment. And that is because they are a bit um, ahead in what they want to do. They want, they are uh, internet of things and the things that they want to do is a bit advanced and they have not set or they don't have a working product um, and they can't achieve those goals yet. So it's a bit of a risk in that sense and I think it's a bit overvalued but that's why I still have it on my portfolio but just at a lower value or lower percentage. Hedge number uh, 391 on coin market cap also sitting at 2% of my portfolio and that is a hedge fund like you get in general markets and I think that or I believe that when more institutional money comes into the marketplace they will want these hedge funds and hedge is one of your best projects for that. Next one is Kenya coin uh, sitting at number 320 on coin market cap and 2% of my portfolio. That is a uh, marketplace on the blockchain so it has a lot of aspects that LinkedIn has um, and a bit more that it can store the information on the blockchain and uh, some great goals that they have set out and I also believe in this project. Singularity Net uh, position 130 on coin market cap and also at 2% and this is working on AI artificial intelligence it's a really exciting project and uh, I believe they can still get very far I did invest in the ICO and took a lot of profit from that 
but I've still got it there in my portfolio. Next one is Nano, previously known as Rayblox, and they are working on uh, free and fast scalable transactions. So a lot of transactions that are free and fast. They are on uh, number 24 on coin market cap and at about two and a half percent of my portfolio. Next one is Aeon. Now Aeon is, I'm starting to like it more and more and I'm actually thinking of increasing that number over there from 3% maybe to about 5% or so of my portfolio and they are basically the middleman between different blockchain uh, projects. So you would have blockchain projects A and project B and Aeon sits in the middle connecting everything. So it's very important for cryptocurrencies to be interlinked and I think they can go very far. Next one is Horizon State, also known as Decision Token on uh, CoinMarketCap. They are also sitting at a very low uh, position on coin market cap and at 3.5 percent of my portfolio uh, they are working on the voting system they have got great partnerships and working with uh, and it's an Australian project so working with the Australian government and also other governments to work that their voting system is uh, legal and also uh, done on a good manner next one is NEM position number 12 and sitting at a 4% of my portfolio. Uh, and NEM is also a, a platform similar to Ethereum. There are projects that can be built on them. They, are, uh, they do not have projects that are built on them and I also hold it because there's a project that I'm looking to invest in the future that has or that is going to use NEM. Um, but they're also working on scalability and a lot of these platforms are very similar in many ways with something small differentiating them. So also a good hold. Then Power Ledger. I really like this project um, and they are working on distributing energy to the masses basically. Position number 74 and sitting at a 4.5% of my portfolio. Next one is Omise Go, OMG, uh, sitting at position 22 and it is 10% of my portfolio. So you'll see that the next few are sitting at a higher percentages. They are, uh, I'm really confident in, they already have proven themselves in many ways and Omise Go is trying to unbank the banked. Uh, and you can also go check more on that on their website. Now Bitcoin. I don't care what you think about Bitcoin. I don't know if it's a or I care if you think it's an old technology or that Bitcoin Cash or anything will replace it. But Bitcoin was first. It's number one on Coin Market Cap, and you need to have it in your portfolio. It's very important. It is unfortunately the one that leads the way, and it is very important to have Bitcoin. Litecoin is my next choice, also sitting at 10% of my portfolio and at position number 5 and they work at transactions. They have great announcements also coming up and how they are integrating their uh, project into real life situations. Now my top three are very similar. They are definitely my personal favorites and I will always try for different reasons keep them at my top three um, and let's get into why I say that. Icon now it's sitting at position 21 and it is 12 and a half percent of my portfolio. Now Icon is also similar to Ethereum in that it is a platform where, that you can build on. It's also known as the um, Ethereum of Korea, South Korea and you know that uh, if you've watching, been watching the news, there's a lot of money and a lot of news that runs through Korea. And if they can have a good position in that, I see a good future for them. Uh, I also invested into the ICO and still holding a lot of that. My next one is NEO, now also known as the Ethereum of China. Uh, they also have great projects coming on to their platform and uh, also listing on bigger exchanges and having their t coins also like Ethereum's ERC20 tokens they have their tokens um, and basically 
great projects and I really believe in them in the long term. Now I don't know if you can just from what I've been saying assume what my first uh, pick is or my number one pick. Um, it is also sitting at 12.5%. These three coins I have uh, round about the same and for different reasons they I believe they have a future or a great future but my top one is Ethereum. I really love Ethereum. Um, it is the top dog and can potentially overtake Bitcoin. Um, it has proven itself over and over again. It has got a great team and I believe this is the one that you need to keep on top of your portfolio. Neo and Icon has a lot of potential and can grow quite a lot and are solid projects. Litecoin, Bitcoin and Omisa Go are also solid projects. And taking a look at everything you'll see that the high caps, these ones in green, you can count them up. They are sitting at about 57 or so percent of my portfolio. Um, and as I recommended as at about 50% of your portfolio should be high caps so I am doing that. The blue ones, the mid caps, um, they are also sitting at about 30% of my portfolio and then my low caps, my more riskier takes are at about 20%. Um, the ICOs comes and goes um, and also these values uh, go a bit higher, go a bit lower. Um, since I made this uh, this uh, presentation or, or put this all together, Litecoin actually moved a little bit higher than um, some of the other coins. But it's a good uh, strategy for me. I'm not overexposed. I feel to too many pro uh, projects and over diversified, but also have a good balance um, between those riskier ones and those stable projects. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of my portfolio, what projects would you like to replace or what is in your portfolio. Let me know down below and let's get a bit of a discussion and maybe you can go and readjust your portfolio, give some criticism on mine. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that helped and you enjoyed that. Until next time, I will then see you for some more videos on ICOs, also looking at a video on referrals and different ways of that you can make money in cryptocurrency. So if you like that, give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.